Now, my dear friends, we are going to discuss about three important commands that is very, very, very useful. Okay, when you want to see the connectivity is there from your application server to some external server, connectivity is there or not? How you can check that by using these very important commands? So let me first see what all files are present in my directory and what is my current directory. So I'm inside my root and the programming with Jason directory. Okay. Now I want to check whether my server is having an internet access or it is able to connect to some external remote address or not. So let me do one thing. Let me ping and let me check if I am able to connect to youtube.com from my machine. Okay. How I can do that? I can do that by using this ping command. So here you can see that we are getting some error. Okay. Great. No issue. Which means that it's not able to connect properly to this youtube.com. Now let me do one thing. Let me try to ping google.com from my Linux server. So now here you can see the difference. We are able to connect to this google.com and we are receiving some bytes in response, right? which means that we are having some connectivity. Okay. So here you can see that we have transmitted 12 packets and we have received 11 packets. Okay. Great. So this is about our ping command. Okay. Now let us discuss about one of the very, very, very important command that is NS lookup. So my dear friends, if you want to know the IP, which is there in background, for the particular hostname. How you can do that? Let us do an experiment and let us see what is the IP configured behind this ballad.org. Okay. So let me type this hostname and I have used an NS lookup command. Okay. Let me press enter. So here you can see that this is an public IP starting with 51 which is linked with this particular host name okay now let's see another example and let's try to find the IP of our youtube.com where you are watching this particular video okay so there is some problem in this oh, issue this was a typo and let's look up and the youtube.com so here you can see that this is an IP configured for youtube.com. Okay. So this is another very, very, very important command that is NS lookup. Now, my dear friends, let us discuss about our last, but not the least, a very important command, which we will be discussing is telnet. This is again a very, a very, a very, very, very important command my dear friend okay so if you want to check the connectivity of some remote machine from your application server which is a Linux server how you can check that you can check that by using this telnet command and then you can provide the host name or the IP okay so let me see let me provide google.com okay and let me check its connectivity from port number 22. So here you can see that address family not supported by protocol. Okay. Let me try to change the port again. Still is trying to connect, but it is not able to connect it seems. And in some time, I believe that we will get some error. Okay. So this is about the telnet command. That is the telnet. Okay. Then the host name or the IP which you want to connect. Suppose I am calling one API. Okay. From my application which is an external API and I have done the firewall opening but somehow it is not working. So how I can check that whether connectivity is there or not. I can check that by using the telnet command then the IP or the host name and then the port number where we have opened it. So I don't think it will be able to connect. Let us see another example and let me try to connect this google.com. Okay. At port number 80. 
Let me press enter. So here you can see that we are able to connect to this google.com. So this AT port is accessible from our machine. Okay. Great. So this is about the telnet command. So friends, if you are having any doubts, then without any hesitation, you can ask me your doubts and your queries in comment section. And I would like to wish you all the very best for your learning. And if you have not subscribed the channel till now, then you can quickly hit that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any update my upcoming tutorial. I would like to wish you all the very best for your learning.